get her to him before at some point, but all these people are just chatting. Oh, no, 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 we're good. good. So, um, where, what was so, what question. Is me? So, how do you, uh, the question was, uh, you, you guys are known for being a bit of a non traditional campaign. To right. A message. non traditional message, a non traditional messenger, but uh, the, as far as the campaign goes, we're actually more traditional than a lot of others because we are building piece by piece. You have a lot of some campaigns that are, you know, building at the top and then they're falling. You see some of the candidates going from the bottom to the middle and we are building piece by piece. That means meeting people wherever they are in yoga studios around the, or other uh, democratic events and we also bring in independents and we bring in Republicans and we bring in a lot of people who haven't voted before. So we're actually expanding the Democratic Party wherever we go. And our folks may, um, I think around 65% of our donors in Nevada, because we have quite a few, did not vote in the 2016 primary. So they're not polled for the primary. And about 30%, uh, 25% of our donors nationally are Republicans. And a good 30% are independent. So we have a nice cross-section of people that were actually getting involved in the Democratic Party for these caucuses and the primaries around the country. Okay. So, so again, it's a tradition. It's a, so your your track is going to be a, a uh, no, I mean no pun intended, a, a non a non traditional, unique route to get into where you're going. Yeah, because we have a unique message, hmm? and she's a unique messenger. Right. Uh, but the, all the tactics are still the same, and through the excitement that she feels wherever she goes, we just put it all together. Right. Um, and I'm glad you kind of talked about the non traditional aspect of it because uh, I guess. You, and you're definitely hard the right person to ask about this because, uh, you know, I guess in pop culture references, uh, you know, out, out of recent debate performances, you know, your, the, your candidate's been kind of dinged for being different. Uh, that's the best way of putting it. Um, how, do you, how do you respond to that uh, concern? In this kind of climate with what's happening in Washington, D.C., different is good. If you can reach the hearts and minds of the American people to get us back on track to what this democracy means and actually help the citizens of the country and realign the government to support us as human beings, I'll take it. That's fair. That's fair. And I guess that does help kind of clarify some uh, a question that does you know, come up because um, part of my curiosity tonight was, you know, what did I, the stuff I see in sound bites and on some of the you know talk shows and you know let's just say SNL. I'll just go ahead and say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, does it match up with reality? And no, uh, not really. I mean, she's never owned a crystal in her life. She's not anti-science, she's not anti-medicine, she's not anti-anything. As she says, I'm Jewish, I go to the doctor. <laughs> so no, it doesn't match up, but I don't think Kamala Harris would have thought her impression, the pressure made of her, worked either. I don't think Castro's impression they thought worked either. I bet Trump doesn't even think his on SNL works as well. So it's SNL, it's a comedy show. Colbert, it's a comedy show, they're, all, they're comedians. So that's their job. That doesn't mean it's true. Correct. And I mean, not to say that I hold that position, but again... Yeah, yeah. It, it, no, it's a good point. But if you look at her website, it's unbelievably substantive. If you mm -hmm. saw this woman tonight, you would think that she was a professor of something. You know right. what I mean? So you, you see that she's a woman of substance. She's well-read. She's written a lot of books. Mm -hmm. And she's done a lot of research for this over the last 20 years. She wrote a book in 1997 called Healing the Soul of America, mm -hmm. in which she talked about all these issues, and a lot of them are included in her stump speech now. She's been studying them for 20 years, like reparations, actually. She talked about it in 1997. In so, her book. so substance. There is substance behind every action. That substance is backed up with, as we heard yeah. tonight, some policy. Did. Exactly. She's got a huge amount of. We just put out an anti-poverty plan yesterday. We put out. You know, she's about. She's going to do a, a whole health plan, which we're going to put out. We put out the child department, of children and youth, the peace policy. We put out lots of policies. We are actually our website is more substantive than almost all the others. Sure. Even Elizabeth Warren's actually. Well, that, uh, I, I'll, I'll give you some points for you know being bold and brave and you know, stating that. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the substance question for you know people who are watching this and reading this here in Nevada who are trying to understand this process. What makes Marianne different than anyone else uh, in terms of? Sorry. Eyeballs. Got it. You got it. Go ahead. Um, what, what makes her different? Yes. Than anyone else in the field. 
And what, what makes your operation different than, uh, than everyone else in the world? What makes her different? What a great question. What makes her different is her point of view of seeing holistically how all the problems in the country are integrated together and a holistic solution. She's not looking for a one-off. So if you start picking up, if you create a policy specifically for a kind of person or a, a kind of background and a plan for it, you're actually not solving the problem. So how do you get to the root of the problem, whether it is racism, whether it is illness, whether it is kids um, being terrified to go to school because of mass shootings? The issue, yes, you should absolutely, you know, ban certain assault weapons and all of that. But in addition, why are we so violent? So she's actually bringing up the causes and the root causes of the issues, tying it back to, back to our democracy and trying to re-enliven in people's lives what it is to be an American. And going, back, you know, going from you know, differences to uh, achievement here, um, <laughs> what does your campaign organization look like here in Nevada? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I guess, yes. You know, what is your We're just building like? it up. We have a caucus director who's go, who is in charge of the two. Uh, we have a national caucus director. We are, have a state director. We're building up our team. We've got volunteer coordinators all over the state. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're building it up. So it's a work in progress, so we speak. Yeah, it's continuing to build as the campaign in Nevada builds. The more excitement that we have, the more we can we can grow. And this is the means of doing it. You know, you know, meeting people where they are. Too. Yeah, exactly. And talking, having a good discussion, talking about the issues. You hear about people like the doctor over there. You hear from people and their issues and their desires and dreams, and you put it together as a community. Fair enough. And I know you have to go here pretty shortly, so I'm going to let you go with my last question. Uh, sure. My, last, well, my two last questions, I'm going to kind of merge it into one. Um, you know, the debate's coming up here. The lineup was announced tonight. Um, and I know, um, you know Ms. Williamson will not be on the debate at, at, the, at, at the moment, um, as planned. Um, does that change anything to your plan, your, your campaign plans or anything at the moment? No, not really. Deval Patrick won't be on. Bloomberg won't be on. Other won't be on. And so it becomes... You know, our support continues to grow with or without it. That was a question we asked ourselves when we didn't make the first debate we didn't make in. Does that make sense? Right. But once our money didn't continue to grow, our people continued to grow, our organization continued to grow, we realized where the debates are an amazing opportunity to be seen by millions of people. Right. It, it, it also, we, we're still here and we're still growing. So we're happy about that. And then, and we'll wrap it, I guess. Is there anything else I haven't asked you you want, or anything that I haven't, yes, anything I haven't asked you that uh, hasn't been brought up that you'd like to let my uh, listeners or readers know, or anyone in Northern Nevada or Reno know about your campaign, Marianne, the effort in this camp, and the op this plan that you have in front of you to uh, try to win in, on February 22nd? And um, it yeah, thank you for that. Um, I have, oh, my gosh, there's so many ways to answer that question. What a great question. <laughs> I, I think for us, we're gonna, we, would love, we are enjoying having more and more wonderful people, unique people and interesting people, and everyday Nevadans come and, and hear us and hear our ideas um, and, and be part of this sort of project of bringing America back to sort of its, its soul and, its, and, in, and in harmony with what we need as human beings to have a better life. And we're just excited to, you know, to, uh, to keep moving forward. And you asked me something in there that I'm not answering, and I can't remember what it was, but it was a really good question. Uh, I guess, is there anything I didn't ask you that you'd like uh, my listeners or anyone? Well, well, here's one, one thing as well, which is if you're going to talk about a larger ethic, it doesn't mean you don't have plans. So you, you have to build from plans, but you also have to vision as to where to take people. And right now we're lacking vision. We have a lot of people who want to take us in all these 18 different directions, but how are we going to coalesce as a community and a country to solve the real issues of, the, of America? We, you know, so, so just because you are talking about vision, just because you are talking about the larger and deeper issues, doesn't mean you don't get how to get there. 
that? Miss, Miss Ewing, thank you very much. Yeah, it was great to meet you. Likewise. Yeah, Likewise. I look forward to staying in touch. Absolutely. Terrific. Thank you. You're very welcome. And thus ends my interview with campaign manager Patrick uh, Patricia Ewing. And one. And.